I've got another app showcase for you guys today. Let's jump right into it with a new app called Beat Punch. Beat Punch is a rhythm game kind of like Beat Saber with just hand tracking. So let's see what we got. All right, we've got cool robot hands here. That is pretty neat. I actually really like that. Okay, uh, we're gonna go for free play to show you what a hard level might look like. The tracking seems pretty good, but you'll notice that sometimes, if you, you watch me do a quick punch right here, there's a little bit of a delay. Generally, it's pretty good but sometimes there's a few little tracking issues. Let's just do a little focus here and try again uh, one more time. Notice when the level goes up, you get a 180 view. So right here, 180 view. And again, this is the hardest level right here. It feels pretty hard. I don't know if you could really make it much more difficult because of the delays in tracking. All right, that's enough of that one. The other cool thing is it actually shows you some Apple health stats right there. Uh, you got leaderboards and all of that. So pretty cool app. I'm going to be playing this one some more. But let's get out of here. Next up, from the same developer, we have DapTap. This one generally works better on a table. So we're going to go over here. OK, here we go. We have this cool little turntable in front of us here. Confirm. And then let's see what this looks like. So same developer, same kind of hands. And here, you either are tapping the table or you are swinging these out of the way. And it's really similar to Beat Saber. I'll try to look at the guy. You can kind of see as I tap here, I can play and pause. I can go, ooh, I almost hit my knife. Not sure about that one. And we can see a bunch of songs here to play with. Normal versus hard mode. Maybe I wasn't in hard mode. Let's try one more and turn the volume up a little bit. All right, and that's that game. Next up, we have Fly, which is the closest thing to Google Earth VR that I've seen so far. And here we are in Fly. Notice it kind of puts us in this virtual little flying ship here. We can see a pretty high resolution kind of Google Earth 3D view here. And notice here, this is where I'm standing in the room. So as I kind of walk backwards, we're actually gonna move backwards. So you wanna make sure you have plenty of space as you are in this app. And then we can walk pretty far and go quickly wherever we wanna go. I can also look at our altitude right here and then bring us up. And that is pretty cool. So let's get above this rock formation. You can see the controls are pretty good allowing us to go and view this formation. Now, this thing's kind of in my way. So let's get rid of that. We're gonna go like this, settings. And let's change some things around here. Vehicle, none, uh, movement hub. Let's turn that to off and go back. And now we can kind of freely look around and without any HUD here, it kind of feels like you're flying. And I can still go up and down like this. Wow, there we go. And then if I want to go to another location entirely, I can pinch both fingers, destinations. I can either search, go to random, and we got all sorts of spots. So let's go to Paris. We'll give it a second to load here because we see very pixelated. 
the graphics, the resolution look pretty good. I mean, obviously it's not perfect, but if you're just taking data from Google Maps, I mean, it's not bad. And as we get closer, that's when we really start to see a loss of fidelity, especially with the trees and the roads. But I think this is actually a nice way to take a look at a new city, fly around. And here's a view of the Arc de Triomphe. And let's see if we can let it get a little bit higher resolution, if it will. A little disappointing with that lack of resolution, but I think that gives you a decent sense. The next app I'm going to show you shows kind of a 3D view of golf courses. But first, I want to compare what it might look like in here. So let's go. Oh, I think we're too low. That's a little buggy. Let's see if we can go up. Okay. This is City Park. I know this park. All right. There's a golf course over here. Let's take a quick look. All right, I'm stepping back. This is the first tee right here. Now I can actually kind of fly over this first tee, but again, the resolution is not that great. I feel like if I were to look at this on the computer, it would be better than this, but let's do a quick fly over and view this first hole. And here we are approaching the green. And then we can even go towards the second hole, which is right up here. And you get the idea here. We can zoom out and get a view of the city of Denver with downtown behind us over here. So keep that in mind as we go into the next app. Oh, I turned around. Immersion Golf. And this is supposed to give you a 3D flyby of some different golf courses. So City Park Golf Course, that's what we just looked at. Hole one. And here it is. And we can rotate it like this. And it helps you plan. You can kind of see how far you might have to drive to get to that green. And it looks like pretty poor quality, like low resolution. What are these cacti here? I mean, it's actually trees. I feel like this wouldn't be super useful unless you're really just trying to plan out your shots. But I think it'd be more fun to actually do a more realistic flyover, even with just Google Earth data. So this app, not as much into it, but at least you can see how this works. You can make a really big view as big as you want really and kind of look at the layout of a hole but again just like the quality of the graphics here no good next up we got another one of these flappy bird games called flat frenzy i actually really like the graphics of this game very cartoony high res looks really good and let's try this out so see this it shows you in order to flap this bird you got to flap your wings like this and that gets tiresome after a while. And it makes it kind of difficult to go ahead and play this for a long time. And sometimes I feel like my flapping doesn't really get recognized. And then I lose like that. Uh, I talked to the developer of this game, actually. He said that he's going to implement a, a pinch to flap. So that should help and make this a little bit more smooth to play. Uh, there is another similar app that I've shown in another showcase that has that type of input that I think is kind of a bit better to play this sort of game. Next up, we've got Spatial Web Shooter. This is supposed to give you like Spider-Man web shooting abilities. I'll show you first free play. So we go like this. And now we have this web and I can kind of pull it a bit. And it stays there now and shoot. And it's kind of cool. Like it's a cool mesh. I can't do anything with this hand. Well, actually, yeah, I can shoot with this hand too. And it's like, yeah, it's a neat mesh. We can actually walk up to it and like see not much to do here other than just kind of show off the ability for Vision Pro to really see different surfaces. Uh, you can see it kind of really does mesh on to the TV versus the piano and the bench here or the art here. Like it does a good job. But let's go ahead and see if we go back home and try challenges. Let's try treasure catch. There we go. Okay. And that's actually kind of cool. This is my first time trying this challenge. And this at least gives you some sort of thing to do with the webs. The graphics are actually pretty decent. The controls, I say work like 90% of the time. There we go, we can use both hands to collect these gems. And that's all with the web shooter. And then finally, I wanna go back to an app I showed off a while ago, Explore POV. 
they've updated their app to have all sorts of like new experiences and new videos. I just love looking at the videos in here. The quality is just so good. So if you do want to watch anything on here, you have to pre-download it. You can see they're pretty big files. I just went ahead and downloaded this three minutes uh, in New Zealand. It's like six gigs. Let's see what it looks like. And there we go, hiking through New Zealand. Great that you can still see your hands very clearly over the content. It is only 180. But it, I kind of like that it blacks out the rest of your view rather than kind of your environment. It really keeps you immersed in this content. Oh, here's somewhere new. And in terms of this 180 immersive content, I think these guys do it better than anyone else, other than Apple, of course. But yeah, these videos are pretty cool. And that's it. As always, thank you for watching. Let me know if there's any other apps you guys want to see. And otherwise, I will see you on the next one.